We have many dog lovers here on Studio mm -hmm. 701, but our next guest is making sure her love for her dog is never forgotten. In today's Let's Talk, brought to you by CC's Physical Therapy, we welcome new author Sandy Sherlock. Thanks so much for being here. You're very welcome. I'm glad to be here. Sandy, you wrote with a song in his heart, a service dog story, and we have this lovely book. It was inspired by your real life dog, mm -hmm. Eddie. And why did you want to write this story? Tell us about that process. I was a music teacher in Towner. I lived in Drake, but I was a music teacher in Towner for many years. And for the 10 years that I had Eddie, he went to school with me every day. Um, well, actually, he only went to school for six years, then I retired. But anyway, um, he went to school with me every day, and we would go to music festivals. And, you know, so he was well known from, you know, west of Minot all the way to Grand Forks, down here in Bismarck, you name it. I mean, people knew Eddie. They, and he had so many um, quirks <laughs> and funny things. He, he, there were so many funny stories that I just felt could not be forgotten. You know, for instance, we would go to a music festival. There was one music festival in particular where the choir was singing a, um, a song called, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it started with the, um, the thunderstorm, oh. you know, and then they would incorporate animal noises. And when they started with the monkeys howling, Eddie got up and started to bark and, <laughs> and rushed the choir. And if it weren't for Lindsay Kurzman, who was sitting next to me, she teaches up in Minot now, she grabbed him and pulled him back. But he, he continued, you know, and, and kids, they remember things like that. But oh, yeah. there were just so many funny stories. Oh, that, I'm sure he impacted yeah. dozens of oh, kids gosh. throughout the years. He did, he did. And he was so special to our family. Um, he just meant so much to so many people. He passed away in 2016 of cancer, but mm -hmm. he was 12 years old. Mm -hmm. um, and I just, you know, the more I thought about him, I just, I couldn't let his stories die with him. Mm -hmm. I just couldn't. Mm -hmm. um, and the story, I wrote the book mainly for fifth grade on up, but it's enjoyable. I'd like to say it's enjoyable by everybody. Mm -hmm. um, my, um, my, my boyfriend's grandkids, they would read it at night. Um, their parents would read it out loud. And even their five-year-old, once she got past the fact that there weren't pictures at the beginning, <laughs> yes. you know. Um, that takes they, me a while, too, sometimes. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, there are pictures in the back of the yes, book. Yes, yeah. there are. There's lots of pictures in the back of the book mm -hmm. because, frankly, I didn't know him when he was a puppy mm -hmm. um, because he went to the dog school when he was about a year old. Um, he was donated to the dog school um, from a, a farm in Grand Forks. He was born into a litter of high dollar hunting dogs. And we do not know why he was donated to the dog school. Hmm. Um, but, you know, for whatever reason, then I got him. So I had the beginning of the book is a fictional account of his puppyhood mm. <laughs> in which I try to set the stage for the little oddities in his behaviors because he had quite a few and I tried to come up with reasons for those. Um, I also tried to incorporate um, oh gosh learning lessons of bullying, friendship, family, responsibility, getting a job. <laughs> yeah these are good <laughs> lessons for yeah. all of us yeah. and we quickly want to mention how people can buy this book and maybe meet you and talk a yes. little bit at, at any upcoming readings or right, signings. Right. Yeah. My my website is sandrasherlock.com and so books can be purchased there but if you would like to buy a book in person I will be at Dykeshorn Park on Thursday at 12.30, right after their lunch program there. I will do a reading there, and we will have a book sale. And I will be in Minot at the Minot Library at 10.30 on Saturday, um, doing the same thing. And then at the Bismarck Veterans Library on Tuesday at 10.00. Wonderful. Yeah. Sandra, you are worth talking to in person. Thank you so much for being with us today. You're very welcome. And as she mentioned, go to her website if you'd like to learn more about Eddie the Service Dog. It is sandrasherlock.com. And there's lots of videos and pictures on the website. Oh, fun. Well, this has been Let's Talk, brought to you by CC's Physical Therapy. But speaking of